Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Virgo. If Virgo is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. Hey, knock, 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 and let's see what do these tea leaves have to say tonight? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, so our, <laughs> um, our card tonight is the Queen of Swords, one of my favorites. One of my favorites, definitely. So this has everything to do with aspirations of freedom, self-determination, intelligence, wisdom, resor resourcefulness. And do I need to even go on? Maybe that's the end of the reading. We already know. These are all Virgo things, right? <laughs> okay. Um... But really, these uh, the sword cards um, have so much to do with um, intellectual pursuits. Uh, they really have to do with kind of that um, that uh, consciousness, that um, you know, thing that leads everything else, or at least is the kind of navigator, right? And so, let's begin. Um, Okay, so, 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 I am seeing kind of this person sitting here, standing here, I should say, with their head kind of down, kind of in a sorrowful um, posture, okay? I kind of see somebody who maybe feels let down, who is um, sad, <laughs> you know, just kind of um, a little bit limp maybe, um, feeling a little defeated, Okay, and so this is what immediately comes to mind for me. Um, we all feel sometimes like we have been dealt an unfair hand, that the people around us do not understand us. Um, they don't do the same amount of, um, you know, they don't put in the same amount of effort that we do. Okay, um, the energy is not matched. Uh, this maybe isn't always, but yeah, sometimes, right? And it can feel really heartbreaking. It can feel like all is kind of an illusion. You've gotten into the situation where you thought, you know, somebody felt as, as deeply as you did. Um, you love this person or this family member um, so much, why can't they uh, love you the same way? Or why can't they show their love in the same way? Um, why do they not, uh, you know, perform acts of love, honoring you, respect, whatever? Um, now, I think that this is kind of a, co a common thing that we Virgos get ourselves into. Um, we, first of all, I just want to say, and I go hard on this, I really do. And, um, you know, I don't say it to hurt anybody's feelings. Um, we are all at different levels of life or different stages of life. We all need help in different ways. Um, you know, our capabilities are different. Our resources are different. Um, sometimes we're going through things and um, it would be a super lie if I told you that nobody has helped me. I've had so much help in my life at different points. I've, you know, been very blessed for that. But that being said, we have to always remember no one is going to save us. Nobody can save you from your own life. Okay, nobody is going to just show up and fix things for you. And if they try, if that were to happen and, and 
you know, they tried to, I feel, you know, we would feel pretty confronted. Um, it would be feel oppressive, overstepping, being controlled, right? Um, but ultimately, nobody can save you, okay? We have to do for ourselves in the deepest ways, okay? Um, again, that doesn't mean that we cannot accept help. We, we have to ask for help, you know, in life. Nobody gets through this thing alone, okay? Um, so I think that, you know, obviously telling a Virgo that nobody's going to save you, I think that that seems kind of silly because who is more independent? <laughs> and you know kind of um self-motivated and picky about things than a virgo i don't know um who else is but um i think where we get in trouble here and um i see a person here kind of literally like it looks like their head is bending backwards Okay, above them it looks like there's a little squirrel sitting here. We'll come up here and look at that little squirrel. But first it looks like we have a person, their head's bending backwards. So I feel like this really is just that saying, bending over backwards for somebody. Okay, I think that we often put ourselves into situations where we expect people to have the same energy as we do, to put in the same amount of work, effort. Um, I've talked about this in other Virgo readings. We're really good at anticipating what people need, what they want, even before they know sometimes. Because we're so, we just are really good at reading people. Okay? Um, but, see, what happens is we think that other people are, you know, all, they exist in the same way that we do. Um, and when that is not returned, it can feel very devastating. Um, like you've been forgotten. Like they don't care. They don't put in the effort. Okay. Um, I think about this a lot. Now as a, you know, an older person, like around holidays and stuff. And I don't mind saying this because, listen, my... You all probably know my husband from Dub and Serpent Tarot, Paul. He's wonderful. He's, he's amazing. Um, but, <laughs> not but, no, he really is. Um, I often will, like around holidays, I like to pick out my own gifts. I like to even just buy my own gifts. Um, he will always get me something sweet, of course, and write me something nice. But, um, I like my main stuff, I like to buy my own things. And I really, when I was younger, always fell into this trap of thinking um, people didn't care about me because they didn't pick the right gifts or they didn't get me anything at all or whatever, you know. And I, and I have always been somebody who really like, you know, I take a lot of pride in figuring out what people want or, you know, what, what they're into and kind of memorizing these things and, and whatever. Well, as I've gotten older, I realize most people are not like that. You know, um, giving gifts maybe isn't a big deal to them. Receiving gifts maybe is even less of a deal. I don't, I don't care to receive gifts ultimately, but when I do, I like them to be something that I can use. That's my biggest thing. You know, I don't want to <laughs> spend money on something I'm not going to uh, use or whatever. And so um, we get, I think, and this is an example of these kind of mental traps we get into. Okay. Um, and I feel like, and here we go, where I feel like we have this large, um, towering person and they're holding, it looks like maybe like a dagger, a sword. Okay. And I feel like when we can start to realize that expecting things from people just because we would do it. And I don't mean basic. Okay. Basic stuff, of course, you know, but 
when we invest too much and the other thing is that we don't tell people what we expect that's the other problem <laughs> you know um, but when we can start to shed these things and just take control we take the lead we um, you know take over where we expect other people to just kind of know intuitively like this is what you need to do if you have to write a list and tell them 15 times ask them 15 times i should say <laughs> not tell them um then sometimes that's just what we have to do right it doesn't necessarily mean it is any kind of reflection on how they feel about you maybe it is to some degree if it's just, you know, ridiculous. But I think that um, sometimes we as Virgos like to hurt our own feelings. And I say like to because it really is kind of like, um, you know, we live out our own little, you know, dramas. We don't want big dramas, of course, but just these little things. We like to hurt our own feelings sometimes. And um, when we can get rid of some of that stuff, when we can communicate, when it's something that is important to us and we know that we can do it, then we just do it, right? This year, my birthday's coming up. All of our birthdays are coming up, right? I've already got all of my birthday presents figured out. And I like them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm happy. I'm super content. Um, you know, and that's fine. I feel super happy. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't, I think that it's just really coming into a place of that queen energy. Okay. That knowing that being at ease, you don't have to live off the whims of other people, the actions of other people. You figure out what you want and you make it happen. Okay, and I think that's such a Virgo thing. I think that we are all about that. And when we fall out of that kind of living, when we get in our feelings, when we're feeling insecure, we, oh, we just want, you know, them to pay attention and throw me a little scrap of, oh, you care, you know. No. No. Set things up how you want them. Because that's how you're going to be happy. Now, I'm not saying to impose on everybody you live with. We also have to work on, you know, <laughs> reeling it in a little bit. Because I can, I know, be like the little, you know, kind of a little tyrant maybe. About how things are going in the house. What the schedule's like. Who's done their chores and who hasn't. Okay, not everybody's living it with the same um, focus and energy or time as I do. So yeah, we have to reel it in a little bit sometimes. I know that this is a freaking Virgo trait because I have a sister who's a Virgo. My father was a Virgo. I've had other Virgo friends close to me in my life. And we are all very similar in this way. We have very high uh, hopes. I don't like to say expectations, okay? But we have high hopes for things, right? A lot of times we're the ones, we, we, want a li we want our lives in a certain way. Well, we have to make it happen. We're the manifestors of our own lives, okay? We're, gonna, we're also the hunter-gatherers. We're, um, you know, the intuitives. We're the ones that are going to heal. I mean, we just basically have to exist in a lot of the roles. Because we want to. Because we're good at it. And when we fall out of that knowing, when we let other people or ourselves dim our own lights, that's when we start to really spiral. Okay, so I think that this is a time for you to really come back to that center place of self-determination. You are activated. 
You know your purpose. You're lovely, you're beautiful, you're so clever, intelligent, resourceful, wise. You know what you're doing. Okay? Don't fall into that mental trap. Sometimes we just have to take care of ourselves. I mean, it really just is like that. And you know what? It's okay. That's okay. We also have a turtle here. Okay? So I feel like, yeah, sometimes this happens slowly. This return. I also want to say, if you really have people in your life who continually make you feel like they just, you know, they don't text you back, they're flaky, um, you know, they won't give you straight answers. I read something like, I don't know, something where this lady was talking about, and she was like around my age, you know, f almost 40. And saying, like, she had a boyfriend who didn't want to be official, like, online or whatever. And, I mean, that's a... I mean, oh, my goodness. I can't imagine being this age and having to go through that. So, we have to just... We just have to accept people when they show us how they feel through their actions... Versus what they're saying to us. Unless there are some kind of, you know, really, really big, complicated circumstances that you actually believe and understand. When somebody shows us who they are, how they feel about us, or what, you know, how they're going to treat us, believe them. Don't keep giving them chances. Of course, we have to go through the checklist. Is this, you know, am I perceiving this? Am I, you know, am I blowing this out of proportion? Is this something that, you know, a thing I created and they're not living up to? Or like, an, or, there's that word again. A hope that I have that um, I haven't communicated, right? If none of that, if that's not what it is, then no, don't deal with that. I know, I hate, I don't like being the, like a, I'm, I can't tell you what to do, but boy. <laughs> when I read things like that, I just feel like I remember feeling like that when I was younger, you know, just hoping for a little bit of attention, a little bit of, you know, oh, just you show me like one little, um, you know, one little like kindness and I, and I'll be there, you know? And it's ridiculous because it's not, that's not real. And it's heartbreaking and it's tiring and it's like soul sucking, you know. So, anyways, um, I see a person on the, and it's very much like, well, it's not unlike the actual... Let me look at this here. Let me get this thing out here. It is not unlike the actual card. This formation. I was going to say it looks like the chariot. Maybe it's like um, one of the, the um, princes. But no, it looks like um, her legs kind of sitting up. And I, and I feel like, you know, even with the, the head... It, this is it, you know, and with, with her holding the head or the mask, right? She's also holding, like she has just used that, that sword, that dagger to just, you know, no mercy. And that's the thing. Sometimes you just have to have no mercy about these things. You don't carry around, um, or carry on with, a situation that is going to ultimately continue to hurt you. Okay, so the, if that is changing your perspective, starting to take care of the things that you want yourself, and this is that aspiration of freedom because you are being proactive. There's freedom in your own movement. 
not waiting for somebody to do something for you, not waiting for somebody to give you permission or, you know, whatever. You just make it happen. The other part is, like I said, you don't, don't get pulled along. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you this like any of my friends, no. So many, so many times, you know, in my life, <laughs> I am definitely that friend. You show me, uh, you know, a screenshot of a, te no, I don't need any context. No, shut it down. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah. And so I, I'm looking at this and I just think like we have, um, not a dissimilar, thing happening here from what we're seeing on the card we have a person with um some kind of sickle we have a person who's kind of being held here and i really just think that this is like the you know this is the end of some kind of dynamic okay just really not having it anymore um whoever that is with you are tired of it and i think that um you know whatever kind of emotional drain is happening you are not these circumstances will not stand any longer i feel like there's going to be a big pull towards independence finding your own security and things um i think that you know oftentimes with virgos we're like super independent people but we also are really love to take care of other people and sometimes we will sacrifice our own well-being our own security even though we're fully capable of you know um taking care of ourselves being more than you know comfortable um but we put other people first and so we get into these positions that feel very dire um it's like putting all of our resources into a bucket that has a hole in it and next thing you know it's just gotten out of control there you're not happy it's not, um, you know, it's not working. You're not being treated well. You don't feel like yourself. Okay. And, um, you know, I think that sometimes there's just this swift kind of clarity where it's like, okay, this is not no more of this. And the further you get out away from a situation like that, the more and more you start to feel, well, you go through that period of feeling, you know, lonely, maybe like I wasn't good enough. Why didn't da, 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 da. It has nothing to do with you. That's just a person that doesn't know how to treat people. Right. And they probably showed you that, but we don't like to listen because we want to fix people. That's the other thing. We're all about collecting people that need and want and need to be fixed. Right? And we can't. We're not their parents. We're not, you know, so we're not we're not here on this earth to heal anybody but ourselves. I mean, yeah, of course there are kinds of healing and you maybe are a healer, but ultimately on the deepest level, the work is here for you. You are here for the work. Okay, so I think that you really are going to get into a, uh, a place of advocating for yourself, not putting up with anything, okay? And I don't think that you're going to be cruel about it. I think that, you know, maybe there will be um, little conflict in this, uh, in this kind of change in, in dynamic, I think that, you know, especially if you want to stay within in the situation that you're in. And this, I'm talking about this like this is somebody who is like your significant other, your spouse, whatever. This could be your kid. This could be your parent, somebody you live with, whoever it is. I know that you care about them. I know that, you know, the energy is just not equal. 
Okay, so those are the two things. Those are the two um, things you have to meet for this to be about whatever's going on, right? So um, if you are trying to get out of the situation or change it, either way, I think that, you know, that's another part of being a Virgo is that, yeah, we want to snap off, but we are also really good at being very diplomatic, right? Trying to mediate through our own situation and so um i don't feel like this is going to be too out of control i think that really um you know you're going to find your way to negotiate with yourself through this okay and um rearrange things so they you know are how you want them to be or again just kind of depart from this whole thing in general okay now the the thing is really staying strong through all of it you know, um, you know, staying true to self, true to what you need. And that's hard. That's hard. It's hard. We can also be people pleasers as well. So I'm just seeing a face of <sighs> keeping it, keeping it balanced, right? <laughs> finding that zen place it kind of reminds me of that snoopy dog right just kind of relax it out ultimately getting through the situation is going to be beneficial okay even if it's aggravating if it's stressful um sometimes it feels like let's it's just let's just you know get through it it'll change itself at some point but it doesn't. Usually it devolves more. So trying to really just get yourself centered, grounded, and then going in and, you know, starting to figure things out. Implementing changes. It doesn't have to be a big, big, big thing. It doesn't have to be a blow up. This could be baby steps, right? But have a plan. Have a vision. Some idea of where and what you want, right? Where you want to go, what you want. Ooh, I just got this all over. My goodness. Oh, Lenore, Lenore. Well, you know, it's bedtime, so. At least it's the last reading of the night. And I'm happy that it was my Virgo one because I really like my Virgo. Well, I like all my readings, of course, but, you know, I feel I'm like one of those people. I'm just all about my I'm about my solar sign. And um, I, I feel like I'm totally a Virgo. I mean, I just do. So anyhow, I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me. <coughs> Excuse me. And. Um, if you would be so kind as to like the video, it helps us get into the algorithm. And as we all know, the algorithm is what is deciding what happens with everybody's channel. So, um, any kind of engagement really, really helps. If you like the video, if you watch the video from the beginning to the end, um, if you watch all of the videos you can, um, <laughs> uh, if you share it off of uh, YouTube to um, another social media site. Um, of course, you don't have to do any of these things, but I would appreciate it. Um, other than that, what? Oh, if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Uh, between now and the next Virgo, if you want to watch your other placements, uh, maybe do some cross-watching. Um, and if you want to leave a comment, I read them all. Sometimes it takes me a day or two to get back to them, but I do read them and I like to take my time. Although it's also because things are hectic and busy. It's just, um, I can't, I kind of can't wait until it's like really cold. Um, because <laughs> I know I'll have so much more time to like do more of the, the um the comments and that kind of thing engagement stuff so um 
yeah, I will get to them. If And if you don't get the notification that I have commented back, maybe come back and look at your comment. Um, because I know sometimes I comment on things or I comment back on things and I never get another notification that somebody has, um, you know, had an, said something else after I commented back. So I kind of just like scan through it and see. Um, but sometimes it just doesn't tell me. So it might not tell you. So if you're waiting and you're thinking, hey, she didn't, she never got back to me. Um, I probably did. They just didn't tell you. So come back and look. <laughs> All right. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we will talk again real soon.